Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of. Well, another mini update episode. Alright, so what have I done this week? Mostly priming. So, I've been priming out more or less all of my. Um, Eternal Dynasty Warriors and the Sages. Oh. Yeah, so just primed them in a matte black. And I also primed up some uh, Battle Sisters. And now this one is out of focus. There we go. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna map uh, two of these flying ones. I don't know if they're called like get packers or something like that. Just because I could use those together with um, Celestine. I think I showed her off last episode. I think Celestine that I have. Because uh, I was planning on using this for boarding action actually. And then you have Celestine and two of these, I can't remember the name of them now, but these two of these like flying ones that comes beside her. So, can I use those for, for that perhaps? Making a sister's army for holding action, guess. I got to try that out with my Space Wolves army and I found that to be extremely fun. So, I played it last week after the episode that was then, so... Couldn't say by then, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, so other than that, I also have a Phantom More Sisters, a whole bunch of these Eternal Dynasties. I think I have 500 points worth. And I've also been priming up my giant robot. Looking pretty cool. So I need to start and paint this too. I think it could turn out really cool. Because it has some insane detail. So that's going to be fun. Uh, other than that, I have been printing and... Well, mostly just priming some bases. These are just basic bases, so... I just printed them because I think it's nice to have some around and it's easy to get your hands on. So these are just normal 32mm bases. I also printed some 40mm bases and uh, you know I just showed you the uh, Saint Celestine. Well, this is Saint Stelati Celestine of Chaos. <laughs> Yeah, there is a chaos variant of it, and it is on a 30 mil base. And I mean, I just had to, right? I know it's heresy. It's heresy of the highest order. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. All right, and I've also been uh, printing some uh, chaos space marines. And this one I have primed the matte black. I don't think the details will show up too well though. Oh, I can see a little bit of it though. I gotta say, it's a bit harder when I haven't given the given them the Cenefal yet. It does make it a bit more difficult. But yeah. So, print out a few of them. Kinda nice. Uh, used this in my first ever game today, actually, and damn, they're good in Grimdark Future. They did a ton of damage. And uh, I've been having some issues with my prints 
lately and I think it is that my resin is getting bad because I've been having a lot of failures lately. I am on my last bottle of resin now. So uh, I did place an order for some more. Um, just hoping that it is the resin. Well, it's a pain in the bum. Um, speaking of failures, I think I can show you some... I painted some more of the KS Marines. So, uh, these are the heavy marines, and as you can see, his uh, rocket launchers here, half of it is gone, and that is due to print failure. It is like one that doesn't print in a specific spot, and therefore it can't get hold and will just be loose. This is causing me quite a lot of problems. So, really need to get that one sorted out. Uh, here is one that didn't fail at all. And uh, these were printed on the same bed, so uh, some failed, some didn't. I'm using the same settings as I've been using this whole time. It's the same resin. So, uh, I just think it is that the resin in the bottle is getting bad, perhaps. Yeah, because... Well, this one is just fine. I haven't seen that there is anything... wrong with it. So, yeah. And... Uh, this one, however, the uh, end of the axe here, or hammer, that was just flattened and sticking out like that. So, a real print failure. But, I mean, I can salvage this. Um, I guess I could s maybe stick a little piece of metal rod in there and probably build something out here. Just to get an end on that hammer. Uh, as for the one that had his uh, missile launcher lost, I could turn that into some battle damage. I mean, why not? I mean, that could look cool. At least I think so. Alright, and... I've also been doing a little more... Boar? <laughs> a little boar! <laughs> a little more on my elf mage. Um, not a whole lot, but uh, put down some skin. I don't think I've done that last time I showed it off. Uh, fixed up some skin color and also put down uh, gold trimmings around the uh, hood and also on the edge of the staff. I think we are out of focus again. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I showed that off. I have actually done some little scribbles inside the book. Just to make it look more real. <laughs> I find that to be a fun little idea. So I only used like a... Um, micro pen. Like this. Uh, I have these because I usually do draw and do inking and stuff, so... I had them on hand, so thought, okay, well, let's just scribble something in the book with this. Make it a little easier on myself other than using a brush and, uh, and color or ink. Might as well use a pen to make it easy. But yeah, I believe that is more or less it for what I've done this this week. Oh yeah, and I also started to build some more on my Age of Sigmar army. There we go. So, um, this is the Pelador. 
So yeah, I wanted to add those because I want something that just pop up all over the the game plan or plan a uh, game mat? The battlefield? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. All over the battlefield, that sounds correct. And uh, they, they sound pretty fun. <laughs> and, I mean, they can show up anywhere on the battlefield during their movement. Nine inches outside of all enemies. And, I believe, three inches from all objectives and buildings. Was it one? I don't remember now, but it was something like that. And I mean, they have a shooting action, so I could just like jump up nine inches outside or something, someone, and just shoot them. <laughs> I mean, then yeah, I am in charging dis distance. I mean, I could potentially go twelve too. That way, they will have a really hard time reaching me. <laughs> Uh, being the evil guy I am? <laughs> yeah, the evil guy who plays the good guys. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, depending on what weapons I take. There is one that has 9 inch reach and another one that has 18. So yeah, that could be fun. Alright, well, I think that is going to be it for this episode though. I uh, do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!